Alina Rabakina versus Jessica Bagula is the first semi-final for the Miami Open for the ladies for 2023. And both ladies have fought very hard to get here. Rabakina started the tournament off as the number 10 seed and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Kalinskaya. And after dropping the second set, Rabakina was forced to fight, eventually getting through in three, seven, five, four, six, six, three, to advance to the third round. In the third round, she'd take on Bedosa, the 21st seed, who had had a battle in her previous round. And after losing the first set and being down match point, Rabakina fought back to win in a very ugly match, 3-6-7-5-6-3, to get to the fourth round. In the fourth round, she'd take on the unseeded Mertens, who'd beaten Kazakina and Martic along the way. And this was by far the best performance from Rebecca for the week. Getting through in straight sets, 6-4-6-3, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Rebecca would take on Trevison, the 25th seed. And this was by far Rebecca's best performance of the week. Getting through easily in straight sets, 6-3-6-love, to advance to the semifinals. Pagula started the tournament off as a number three seed, and would get a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on the qualifier Sabov. But this was no problem for Pagula. Getting through in straights, 6-3-6-1. In the third round, she'd take on fellow American and 30th seed, Daniel Collins. And after a close second set, Pagula would come through in straights, 6-1-7-6, to get to the fourth round. In the fourth round, she'd take on the 20th seed, Lynette, who had been having a very good season so far. And after saving set points and being down in the second set, Pagula would come through in straights, 6-1-7-5, to advance to the quarterfinals. In the quarterfinals, Pagula would take on Potapova, the 27th seed, who had taken out Coco Goff along the way. And this was an absolute battle. Just like when they played a week ago in Indian Wells, Pagula losing the first set, coming back, and also saving two match points to eventually win in the final set tiebreak, 4-6-6-3-7-6, to advance to the semifinals. These two ladies have played twice before, with Pagula leading the head-to-head 2-0, both matches last year, but their last match they played in Guadalajara was 10-8 in the final set tiebreak, Pagula getting the win, saving multiple match points. If Rebecca is going to win this one, she needs to push Pagula around. Pagula's got great defense, but she has to push her around and also limit the errors, because even though she beat Trevison easily, she did hit a lot of errors in that match, she did Rabakina, so she needs to make sure she hits clean and hits big to make Pagula run around. If Pagula's going to win this one, she needs to get off to a good start. She can't afford to get off to a bad start against someone like Rabakina, who can overrun people quite easily. Rabakina's only getting better as this tournament goes on. After that Bedosa match, Rabakina's looked amazing, so Pagula's going to have to win the first set. This is going to be a blockbuster match, and I hope we get something like we did in Guadalajara last Last year between these two because it was an absolute epic. I'm gonna go with Pagula to win this one. I know she might be tired, but I just feel like Pagula is a little bit more solid. But let me know down in the comments below who's gonna win this semi-final.